Welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I'm your host, Paul Markle. And today we're going to talk about a bear attack that happened recently in Wisconsin. We were just recently made aware of this incident and we wanna use it as a chance to learn. Now, the story, the title of the story that we found on Fox News was, Wife Who Can't Load Shotgun Uses It As Club To Fight Off Bear. That's never a good way to start the story. We watched the story, we watched, actually watched the video, and what we discovered was that the man in question was living out in the county, out in the, uh, out in the woods, in a cabin, with his wife and a golden lab. He hears the golden lab barking ferociously, he goes outside, and what does he see? He sees that the lab is at the end of a driveway, and there's a black bear who's charging his dog. He runs out, waving his arms to scare the bear away. Guess what? The bear doesn't get scared, it turns on him. And in the interview, the man said that he tried to get back in the house. He turned his back on the bear. The bear attacked him, pushed him on the ground, and began attacking, clawing, biting him. And he stated in the video that he was angry that this was happening to him and that he wished he would have had a gun. Well, his wife comes out of the house with a shotgun, but she doesn't know how to load it. So she uses the gun as a club, hits the bear in the head, it releases the husband, they both flee and go inside of the cabin, lock the door. Does the bear leave? No, the bear doesn't leave. It continues to try and get into the house, walks around the house, tries to get in. They dial 911. An hour later, that's right, you heard me correctly. One hour later, according to the news story from Fox, a sheriff's deputy showed up, found the bear still trying to get in the house, shot and killed it, and now the bear is being examined to find out whether it was rabid or what have you. So what do we know based on this situation? Well, number one, the homeowner was unarmed. And all you guys out there who like to say, what, are you paranoid? Why should I carry a gun when I'm in my house? Maybe when I'm away from my home, but I wouldn't, I'm not that crazy or paranoid that I would want to keep a gun on me when I'm actually just in my house. Well, if the glass breaks, the dog barks, your wife screams, the first instinct is to run and see what the problem is. Well, you find out what the problem is, and maybe it's a problem that needs to be dealt with with a firearm. But here you are, outside of your house, the gun is inside of your house. You say, well, he would have only had a handgun. Okay, I'd rather have a gun than no gun. And B, teach your wife how to load your guns. For Pete's sake, your wife is your partner in home defense, or your husband is your partner, if you're a wife out there, in home defense. Do you think all of the adults in the house should know where the loaded guns are or know how to load the guns? Maybe. What else did we learn? Well, they live out in the country. How, far, how long did it take for a sheriff's deputy, after this guy had been mauled, they had to stitch his ear back onto his head, and I believe he said he had 14 staples to close the gash up in the back of his skull. Not a nice wound. It took one hour for the sheriff's deputy to get there to shoot this bear. Well, what was going on during that hour of time? This guy's in the house bleeding holding his ear on with a rag. He has to wait for the sheriff's deputy to come an hour later, kill the bear so they can get to the hospital and they can sew him back together. Not a good situation. What if this guy would have had a life-threatening wound where he would have needed immediate medical attention, taken to the hospital right now? We can't get to the car because there's a rabid bear outside and we don't have anything to shoot it with. Okay. Bears are not little... Uh, fuzzy boo-boos that steal your picnic baskets. And if you live in an area where there are wild animals, and that's most of the United States of America, sometimes wild animals decide that you're a good thing to eat. Not always, not all the time, but are you willing to take that risk? So, if you live in bear country, cougar country, wolf country, coyote country, you might think about this incident and learn from the mistakes that were made. Now, for all things student of the gun, go to studentofthegun.com dot com.